Hello, coming to you live in the middle of a hurricane, August 27th, 2011, live in New York City. Hey, if you guys are familiar with my past videos, I'm going to show you how to create a simple HTML page with no code, the simple thinkdreamweaver.com technique. Here we go to get started. We're going to make a new file, command N, new, or control N, Macintosh, I'm sorry, command new for Macintosh, control N for Windows. We're going to click, click HTML5. We're going to create a new HTML5 document. First thing, of course, we want to do is always save the file. File save, good habit to get into. So we're basically going to save this and call it index version 1. Okay, now another good habit, the other Teachers out there don't seem to pay attention to. Notice a lot of online training videos use this untitled document. That's just a bad habit. That's bad technique. We're just going to call it my HTML5 video. Make a change, save a change. Okay, so let's get started with this. There's new HTML5 tags that you can now use, even though it's not going to be the industry standard until, you know, 100,000 100, years from now, it's going to be the industry standard. So they're saying, I'm um, just joking, but I'm, I'm going to show you the simple way to create HTML5 tags using Dreamweaver CS5 or CS5.5, which I'm using. So I'm using CS5.5. So let's get started here. We're going to type in the name of our new HTML5 tags. So we're going to type in the word header. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to show you a really cool technique here. We're not going to use any code. We're going to do strict what you see is what you get inside of Dreamweaver. Now I notice I misspelled this, so I'm going to retype that HTML5. Make a change, save a change. So I'm going to type the word header, comma, and I'll explain why I'm doing this comma in a second. Then I'm going to type in the new HTML5 tag nav, comma, space. Then I'm going to type in the new HTML5 tag aside, aside, comma, space, then new HTML tag called section, section, comma, space. Again, the comma is not necessary, but I'm going to share with you a very important technique of how I'm constructing this page. Okay, so inside of section, I'm going to have article, article, comma, space, and last, we're going to put footer, F-O-O-T-E-R, no comma. Make a change, save a change. Now, the div rules still kind of apply with HTML5, so we're going to select the body tag, and we're going to put everything inside of a wrapper tag, similar to previous videos. The simplest way to do this is go to layout, pick the first icon right here, insert div tag, call it wrapper. Okay, now similar to my past videos, we're going to select the tag, make it, make it, rule. Select the tag, make a rule. We're going to come over here to selecting the tag, come over here and select the rule and call it wrapper. We're going to give this wrapper an ID of 900 pixels by 650 pixels. We're going to put this in the center of our page. So auto align to the left, auto align to the right. We're going to give this some kind of border. Let's just give this a solid two pixel black. It defaults to black, so I don't have to pick black. And I'm going to hit OK. This puts it in the center of the page. So now here's our new HTML tags. So we're basically going to get create rules for the tags. But first, we have to style the tags. First, we have to insert the tags into our code. The simplest way to do that is double click to select the tag. Double click to select the tag. So we're going to call this tag copy command T for quick tag Editor, copy, paste, control T for Windows, command T for Macintosh, paste. That's the name of the tag. Hit the return key once, twice. There's our header tag. Then I'm going to double click nav, copy, command C or control V, Windows, Con command T or control T, Mac Windows, command T for Macintosh, command T for quick tag editor, paste. There's our nav tag. New HTML5 nav tag. Double click aside, copy, command T or control T, paste. Now from this point, I'm just going to hit command T because I'm on Macintosh, control T for Windows, but I'm not going to keep repeating that. 
it turnkey once, twice. Double click section, copy, command T, paste. Return key once, twice. Double click article, copy, command T, paste. Return key once, twice. Double click footer, copy, command key, paste. Double click once, twice. Now, I'm gonna create rules for these tags. Right now I don't have any rules. I have rules for wrapper. I'm gonna create a rule for body tag. I'm gonna create body tag and I'm gonna do just a couple things with my body tag. I'm gonna select the tag and make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. We're gonna select the tag for body. We're going to give this say Arial 14 pixels and we're going to basically make the box margins be zero tab zero. This everything starts from zero. Zero padding, zero margin. Okay, body tag is an HTML tag that should technically go on the top here. Okay, so I'm going to share with you something very, very important here. I'm going to create the header tag. I'm going to select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. I'm going to select the tag, make a rule, make a rule for header. Now, header is inside of wrapper, but I don't have to keep saying wrapper, header, wrapper this, wrapper that. I'm simply going to say less specific and hit OK. Now, very important step here. For the wrapper, we're going to make the wrapper similar to what we did in previous videos with our div tag. We're going to make the wrapper tag 150 pixels high with 10 pixels of padding. Now, if I hit the apply option, nothing's going to work too well here. Notice that the header is not moving, and I'll explain that in just a second why that's not happening. If I hit the OK button, I told the header tag to be 150 pixels high, and it's not working. Okay, here's the technique. These tags here have to be set to block level elements. Now, thinking ahead here, the reason I put a comma in here, because I simply can copy this, copy, command C or control C, Windows, copy, make new rules for these tags. Copy, paste, separated by commas. How genius is that? Simple, 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 simple. So now I'm going to basically take these tags, go to the block section, the section category for choices. These are my choices, choices block, block display, display these new HTML tags as block elements. By default, they're gonna display as line, in line elements. We're gonna display this as block elements. Now I have my perfect setting for the header tag. Now let's go back to the header tag for a second. The header tag we set to 150 pixels high, but ha ha, this is not 150 pixels high. This is 150 pixels high plus 10 on the top and 10 on the bottom. It's actually 170 pixels high. I don't want it to be 170 pixels high. So I'm going to minus, if you looked at my past videos, we're going to minus what? Very good, minus 20. Now it's uh, 150 pixels high, exactly. Now, these commas that we don't want, we're just gonna find, command F, find, find, comma, replace it with nothing. We're gonna replace all the commas with nothing. Now I put the commas in there, so now I have to reinvent the wheel. So now I just have my basic div tags, I'm sorry, basic HTML5 tags. I put the comment in there so I can see header, nav, aside, section, article, footer, separated by a comma. I didn't have to type the comma in because I don't like to reinvent the wheel, okay? Now we're gonna do nav tag. We're gonna do horizontal navigation. So we're gonna select the tag and make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. We're gonna create a rule for the nav tag. Less specific, we're going to say that this nav tag is going to be I want to vertically put the type in the center of my tag. If you looked at previous videos, you remember how we did this by basically making the height of the tag, line height of the tag. We're going to make the line height of the tag 30 pixels that will vertically put the type in the center. We're going to basically take the padding here and we're going to put in 5 pixels of padding, which means I need to minus, minus 10. Now there's nothing to minus from here from the height, but I could minus from the height here. So I could say minus 10. Now again, what that's gonna do for us, that's gonna 
vertically put the type in the center. We're going to make this white type because we're going to make the background color be this orange color. Okay, make a change, save a change. Command S or Control S on Windows. So there's our header tag, there's our nav tag. Now we're going to do the aside tag. The aside tag can be used for, for basically all kinds of things that you want to put as a sidebar, like as an example in news articles or testimonials for your site or quotations from clients or quotations from the president of your company. So we're going to do a side tag. So we're going to select the tag and make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Again, I don't have to say wrapper or side. I'm just going to say a side. So that's my new HTML5 defined HTML5 tag. We're going to make this width of the tag be 150 pixels high. We're going to give this eight pixels of padding all the way around, which means I need to minus what? Minus 16. And we're going to float this to the left. By floating to the left, the content goes to the right. By floating something to the right, content goes to the left. We're floating the aside tag to the left. Therefore, the news section and article tag will go to the right. So, I'm going to select the section tag. Section tag. I'm going to create a rule for the section tag. Section tag. Select the tag. Make a rule. Select the tag. Make a rule. Make a rule for the selected tag. In order to be affected, it must be selected. So I basically go less specific. And section tag is going to be what? It's going to be the leftover space, which was the width of the div tag was 900 pixels minus the aside tag was 150 pixels. So that's going to be my starting width for that tag. We're going to put in here 30 pixels of padding. So 30 pixels of padding from the left and right is 60. So I need to minus minus 60 pixels. And we're going to float this to the left as well in the apply option. So now the section tag is right here. Now technically the section tag is going to be the container tag for the article tag. We'll get more into this in subsequent lessons here, but I just want to share with you a technique. So what I want to have happen, I actually want to put the article tag inside the section tag. Here's a simple way to do this. Now I told you we weren't going to go to code, but I kind of lied a little bit. So I'm going to go to the code mode right now. And right now this is my article tag. I'm simply going to put the article tag inside the section tag. I'm going to cut this from here double click section and paste. So now article tag is inside the section tag. I'm just getting rid of some of this extra space here. Okay. Now a little shortcut here, control tilde or command tilde on, I'm sorry, control tilde on both Windows and Macintosh toggles between preview mode, code mode, preview mode, code mode, preview mode, code, code mode, control tilde does that for you. Make a change. Save a change. Now for the last one, we're going to put footer. Now footer is going to basically be a black box with white type slightly smaller. So we're going to select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. Now notice by default, footer is taking up this whole entire space here. That's not what I want to do. I want footer to clear the two floats above it. The footer needs to clear the aside tag and the article tag with the section tag. So I'm going to select the tag and make a rule. Less specific. So footer, footer is going to be white type. Footer is going to be 25 pixels high. Footer is going to be smaller type face. So we make this nine pixels. Now again, make the line height is vertically going to put the type vertically in the center, top and bottom center. I also want to go to block and horizontally align this to be in the center. So now it's horizontally aligned as well. Now if the apply option right now, it's not going to work out all too well because now the footer is taking up this entire space. I'm going to change the background color of my footer. So make sure my type is set to white. My type is going to be set to white and my background color is going to be set to black. So by default, similar to previous exercises we did in the old version of HTML4, 
if it, the apply option right now, it takes up this entire space because the footer doesn't understand that the floats are there. We need to clear this footer, needs to clear the left float, the two left floats, which are the section tag and the assigned tag. So based on these choices, these choices, I clear left. Now if I hit the apply option, all is right with the universe. Now a couple of changes I'm going to make here. We built the page with no content. I simply want the wrapper to grow to the content. By default, we define the wrapper tag for aesthetic reasons to start with 650 pixels high. Now I don't want it to have a height. So I'm going to say height of nothing. Don't confuse nothing with zero. Zero is a value, nothing. So therefore, the content will grow to meet the height of the site. So if you put content in here, it's going to grow. I'm just going to go to a, a web browser here for a second. And I'm going to type in my Ipsen world type. Middle of a hurricane. Nothing better to do than make tutorials. I'm just going to copy and paste some of this content. Copy, Command Tab goes back to Dreamweaver. Inside of Dreamweaver, double click and paste. We're going to put some text over here just so we have some content to put in here. Copy, double click, paste. And just like that, there is your properly formatted HTML5 page. We're going to get into some really cool stuff, but I just want to give you a little teaser of how simple it is to create HTML5 pages with a new compliant CSS3 in HTML5. We're going to build some great websites, guys. Just hang in there. Well, this is the first of my tutorials on HTML5, but this is the simple, 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 simple way to do it. No code involved. Just copy and paste name of the text. Thank you. Enjoy the day, and I'll talk to you soon.